So hello everyone. Few days ago, I released my list of favorite mechanical keyboards for 2022, and I promised you that I would be releasing a list of my favorite switches as well. So here we are now. These are my top recommendations or favorite mechanical keyboard switches for 2022. Do take note that selecting these switches are a bit more difficult as there are a lot of good switches that has been released and a lot of good switches that I've tried for 2022. And really, to be honest, the difference among these switches, the differences among these switches, sometimes they're so small that it's even really hard to pinpoint like how different one is from the other and at, again a lot of times it really comes to preference so if the viewers are asking me sometimes in the channel which one is better this one or this one it's really hard to answer that question because sometimes it really depends on the mood and the preference of the user nonetheless let's proceed with the list of my favorite recommendations for mechanical keyboard switches for 2022 i divided this list on three categories number one are my recommendations if budget was not a problem number two are my recommendations if you're on a tight budget or if you're on a budget and number three my top favorite switches for 2022 so let's proceed for my switch recommendations if budget was not a problem if you have an open budget for your build um here it goes number one is the duroc palm I really love the Duroc Palm. So again, this list is in no particular order. So the Duroc Palm is one of my favorite linear switches out there. It is the one that got me into the linear switch. And um, it's really smooth and really buttery. And up to date, I think this is still one of the smoothest switches that I have tried. The sound profile is on the clacky side. It's a long pole switch. I love it so much. Um, the only downside I think for this switch is that the springs are not super special. So it's not bad, but it's nothing exceptional. So what I did with my Duroc Palms, I spring swapped it for a Lumia spring and that solved all of the problems. So there's a better feeling, typing feeling. I love the Lumia springs. The topping out sound was also more lively really one of my favorite of all times and i use this a lot in most of my high-end keyboard builds so if you haven't tried the rock palms do check it out next up is the moyu green snake uh if i'm not mistaken these are recolors of the alpaca sound profile is a bit on the deeper thockier sound profile as compared for say the duroc palms or the zahu really smooth once lube i simply love the typing feel do check out the Moyu Green Snake. I did a full review of this as well. Amazing, amazing switch. Next up is a tactile switch, the Boba U4T. So the Boba U4T was my first custom mechanical keyboard switch. I placed this on my Keychron K2 V2 after replacing the Gatron Browns. And that was the time that I wasn't introduced to the, to the linears yet. That's why I tried out the tactile. And I went on searching the web and, and the community as well and asked the people what is one of the best uh, switches out there. And most of the people out there would recommend the Boba U40. And I think there's a reason for such. And also there's a reason why this thing is mostly out of stock. It simply is really good. Uh, really talky, really deep sound profile. And once you lube it up, the sound for me becomes cleaner, better, and the typing feel also becomes better. So this one is lubed and um, love it. I love it. Very strong tactile bump. Uh, the tactile bump comes really early at the start of the key press. And yes, I know a lot of tactile guys would say that that's not even the most tactile switch out there. And yes, I agree. Um, again, do take note that I am a linear guy. I love linear switches more than tactiles. But with that being said, I find that the Boba U40 is still one of the best tactiles out there. And lastly, for the open budget switch would be the pewters. The pewters are like tactile switches. And being a linear fellow, yeah, I do enjoy like tactile as opposed to heavier tactile switches. 
I've tried several light tactiles this year and the pewter is one of my favorite. Really smooth, sound profile is clean, a bit on the deeper side, but it's still, I don't think it's still gonna be considered a stocky, maybe more on the middle ground of stock and clack. And uh, what I do love about it is that once you lube it up, it becomes really smooth and no scratch at all. So do check out the pewters if you're in the lookout for a light tactile switch. So those are my four recommendations if budget was not a problem. The next one is a bit more interesting because these are the switches that I would recommend if you are on a budget. And why did I say more interesting and more exciting for me personally? Because when I started this hobby, um, a lot of of good switches would range on the 40 50 peso per switch price range and even those switches just like the duroc palm you would need to lube and sometimes film it to get the most out of it so maybe in five switches that i would try or in 10 switches that i would try when i started the hobby there's going to be only one switch that you could use on its stock form fast forward to where we are today there are a lot of switches on the sub 20 peso price point that you can even use in its stock form and that's how good the market has become nowadays all right so these switches guys are on the budget category for for my list but please make no mistake it does not mean that these are less compared to my open budget list no all of these switches in front of you right now, I consider them to be at par with each other in terms of how I enjoy them, in terms of how I value, and in terms of how I would recommend them. All right, so let's go. First up is the KTT Strawberry. This switch blew my mind. I love it. And don't get me wrong, there are a lot of KTT switches out there that are good. And in fact, 9 out of 10 KTT switches that I've tried, really good. It's just that the strawberries stand out. The sound profile is a bit deep, thawky, but not boring, still lively. And you can use it even without lubing it. That's how good it is. If you lube these up, the sound profile becomes a bit cleaner, a bit deeper, if that's what you like, like what I did, then by all means. So what I did with this one is simply bag lubing the springs and tub lubing the stems and that's it. I didn't even lube the housing. Really awesome stuff from KTT. Next up would be my all-time favorite, the Gatron Milky Yellow Pro. And we all know about this awesome budget switch. Creamy, smooth, linear switch on the deeper, thockier sound profile. And the only downside for me is sometimes it becomes too muted on some of my builds that I felt that it was bordering boring in terms of sound profile. So yeah, that's the only downside. But other than that, really amazing. And lastly on my budget list would be the Fecker Matches. The Fecker Matches blew me away. And I have a full review telling you everything that I want to tell you about it. Do check it out. It's just so good. Um, it's so good that in all the keyboards that I tried this on, I am really happy with the result. Never failed me. This is my go-to switch when I want a deep sounding, thocky, lively keyboard. So uh, Doc, what's the difference between the two? What would you recommend more? I get that question a lot. Fecker Matcha or Gatron Milky Yellow Pro? I would have to say Fecker Matcha just because it's more lively. And right now, I'm, I'm, I'm more into the clackier, livelier sound profile. But these are both good. If you want deep, muted, Milky Yellow Pro would be my choice. If I want deep, lively, probably the Fecker Matcha. All right? And now for my top two favorite switches of 2022. You wouldn't believe it, but they are technically on the budget price point, less than 20 pesos. For linears, it would have to be the Aco Cream Yellow V3. And for tactile, it would have to be the Aco Cream Blue V3. These are simply amazing. Really blew my mind. Um, 
Aqua switches are not one of my favorite up until they release these cream switches and they are simply amazing. The cream yellow is clacky, creamy, hence the name, and poppy. I just love it. The cream blue is a tactile switch with a very prominent tactile bump. Well, at least for my fingers, which, is, which are used to linears. It is a prominent tactile bump. And what I like about it is that even though it's tactile, the sound is still so cohesively clean. It's on the clacky side, but it's clean and cohesive. No loose sound whatsoever. Uh, Doc, do I need to lube these switches? Honestly, they're perfect out of the box. If you're if you are really deep into the hobby and you like all your switches lube, then by all means go and lube them up. But for me, yes, these switches are lubed because I had to lube it to see the difference. Are is there a significant difference? No. Uh, the stock form and the lube form, there is a not noticeable difference for me at least because I've been trying out a lot of switches. I could tell the difference, but probably five to ten percent difference. And other than that. If you're a beginner, if this is your first switch, you would perfectly enjoy these two switches, even in stock form. That's how good it is. All right. So those are my favorite switches for 2022, guys. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, I want to hear your thoughts. Um, it's been an awesome year. Thank you for all the support. And 2023 is really starting out strong, and I really love it. So hit that like button and help us be noticed in YouTube's algorithm and hit that subscribe button. Help me keep this channel growing. I have a lot of awesome keyboards coming up. Thank you. Thank you for all the support. We are near the 3000 mark. Stay tuned as I announce the mechanics for my giveaway. Awesome. Awesome, guys. I will see you soon in the next video. This is Talkie Docky signing out.